Welcome back everybody, it's me E-Man and today we're going to review The Legend of Tarzan. Okay, let's get into a quick intro. Tarzan's been living in London for the past couple of years. However, he's called back to go to the jungle because there's been some fishy activities going on. But enough of that, let's get straight into the good. The good. I think right off the bat, you'll notice that the 3D visuals were actually really good. There were only a couple moments that do those in your face type of 3D effects, but one of the best aspects of these 3D effects were the fact that they added a lot of depth to the visuals. So when he's swinging on those vines, you're swinging right there with him. Or if he's making a big jump, you know how deep that fall could be. What I personally liked was the fact that this wasn't really an origin story. Instead, they used flashbacks to kind of give you his origin, but at the same time, the movie was set 10 years after he left the jungle. So it's almost like a prequel and a sequel all in one. But for the majority of the movie, it's all set in the time after he left the jungle. It's really easy to say that Alexander Skarsgård is probably the best Tarzan we've seen to date. He looks the part and sounds the part, even though he really didn't have that many lines. Kind of hard to imagine anyone else really being Tarzan after his portrayal. Christoph Waltz, of course, delivered exactly what you would expect as the classic villain, and Sam Jackson delivered some great comic relief throughout the entire film. There were some nice fight scenes, and the action overall was pretty good, and I personally enjoyed seeing Tarzan using his wild fighting style against both animals and humans alike. But enough of that, let's get straight into the bad. The bad. Skarsgård and Sam Jackson's chemistry on screen was pretty good. However, there were a couple of cheesy moments and it got a little corny. And while we all know that Tarzan has this very unique relationship with animals, towards the end it got a little far-fetched. Now, I don't know whether this will be a bad or not, but I'll just leave it here and you can make up your mind if you want. One thing that was kind of questionable about this movie was whether or not it fell victim to playing the white savior role with the character of Tarzan. Now I personally haven't read the novels so I don't know if the African slave trade was something that was discussed in the novels. If it was, no issue whatsoever. If it wasn't in the novels and Hollywood decided to interject the slave trade, it's kind of questionable as to why would you need to do that to have Tarzan be involved. It just makes that aspect of the story a little problematic. If you're not familiar with the white savior complex is in Hollywood, I'll post a quick little link down below and you can read up on it for yourself. Okay, enough of that, let's get straight to the reason. The reason. I think overall this was a pretty good adaptation of the classic story. Most of us have already known about Tarzan, whether it's from the animated films or the really old films, but this is probably the best one that we have to date. I should probably say that even though this movie was entertaining overall and they did have some good scenes, nothing really wowed me. So with that said, when it comes to the rating, I've got to give The Legend of Tarzan a 7.5 out of 10. When I went to go see it, I saw it in IMAX 3D, but it's definitely not worth doing that and you could save a couple bucks. However, I still would recommend that you go see it in 3D because you can clearly tell that the movie was made to be seen in 3D. And I think the visuals hold up. Well, that's all I have for today. Thank you for joining me. Please don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel. If you haven't already, follow me on Twitter and Instagram at spoiler-free. I'd love to talk to you. You can also follow me on my Facebook fan page and give it a like while you're there. Feel free to check out my next review, which is for The Purge 3 Election Year. And for the many of you that have asked and requested, yes, I will be doing a review for Batman vs. Superman, the ultimate extended edition. Stay tuned. I've got more reviews for you. Go ahead and check out some of my past reviews. And in the meantime, I'll see you later. 